Hey, what is up investors? Jason here. In this video, we're going to be talking about what we're seeing with these blockchain mining stocks. We got some that are doing very well. We got the Canadian ones, HUD8, Hive Blockchain, doing super well at this moment. But we're also going to be giving an update on the other big ones, Mara, Riot, SOS, etc. Now, I want to take a look over at what Bitcoin is doing and what Ethereum is doing to give a little bit of updates on those, what we're seeing in China. Just some updates as far as what regulations could be going on at this moment as well. So just... A broad video here of updates as far as the blockchain and cryptocurrencies in general. So as we get to it, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash, destroy, annihilate, or just gently press that like button as always to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Help spread these videos to more people that might find it interesting and subscribe if you have not already. And if you're interested in being a Patreon and help us support this channel even more and joining the private Discord, I do have one. The link is in the description. Thank you to all the Patreons. Now, let's get to it. So just to give a quick update on what we're seeing with the cryptocurrencies, starting first with the big one here, Bitcoin. Now, over these last five days, we've been seeing Bitcoin trending up. But right now we're seeing a bit of pullback, but still from the last five days at the time I'm making this video, Bitcoin is up 10.5% at this moment. So uh, that is still pretty good, but it would be nice to see it move a lot more. But hey, then again, 10% movement in five days up is still a good thing. Uh, let's take a look over at what Ethereum is doing at this moment. So over these last five days, we've been seeing very nice movement with Ethereum. Currently, Ethereum is up about 24%, let's just say 25%. It looks like it's moving very nicely up over these last five days. Really like that about Ethereum. Very happy to see that it, it has started to trend up very nicely. And not only that, it is now above $2,200. So uh, that is also really nice to see. Very happy to see that it did go above $2,000 because I was a little worried there for a little bit, but I knew it was going to be going up anyways. But now let's take a look over at Dogecoin since Dogecoin is a very popular cryptocurrency, a lot of volatility, of course, a lot more than the other ones. But uh, if you're invested in the cryptocurrencies, then you, you better be uh, expecting that there is going to be volatility, of course. Now, over these last five days, uh, Dogecoin at the moment is up more than 5%, but there was some really good days here. Just a couple of days ago, we had Dogecoin at one moment up about 15%. So that was nice, but uh, that's also something that you have to expect with Dogecoin. Dogecoin is one that's always all over the place. Now let's take a look over at what we're seeing with Cardano. Now uh, Cardano is one that I really like, and this is the last one that I'm going to be covering here. Cardano over these last five days is up a little bit more than 10%. Right now, it looks like it's really moving really nicely at this uh, current moment. Cardano is one that is another one that I'm recently very bullish on. Very excited about Cardano and a uh, very big fan of that, as well as Ethereum and Dogecoin and Bitcoin, of course. Now, uh, let's take a look over at what we're seeing with these blockchain miners. Starting first with Marathon Digital. Marathon Digital is up about 28% in the month of June. Now, looking at what Riot did, very similar, very, very nice performance with Riot, but Riot actually ended the month up about 38%. So Riot had a really good month as well. Now, if we look over at CleanSpark, CleanSpark didn't perform as well as the other ones. CleanSpark had a very good middle of June, but it ended June up down about five percent now hud 8 recently just went public so there's not a whole lot of information on this one and it mines ethereum and bitcoin now hud 8 has just started seeing a very big uptrend in the stock price a lot of that has to do with just announced that they just purchased 12,000 new miners and we'll start deploying those by q4 2021 now looking at these chinese blockchain miners uh, sos is one that i really like a lot but it, it is down at the end of june at about six percent but i think that what we might be seeing sos do is they might start mining somewhere else i wouldn't be surprised if that's not something that we see them possibly start mining in uh in canada or some other place where it's more friendly to start mining and they have some other deals working out in canada as well so that could be something we might be seeing since there is the big crackdown going on in china i think the very the same thing could happen with the nine now the nine is ending june better than sos is uh the nine is ending up about 21 percent but um it's still the same situation it's kind of been things looking good as far as things go in china and then things looking bad it kind of just depends on on the day really but right now things are not looking too great for 
mining Bitcoin in China or any other cryptocurrency because they really are moving into trying to get their own cryptocurrency in China. That's kind of the thing that's going on there. Hive blockchain. Now they, they are also a, a Ethereum miner. So they're mining Bitcoin and Ethereum in their Canadian company. And we're seeing a lot of big um, a lot of big stuff going on here at this current moment. If uh, we didn't get some good news out of this company, we would have actually sent them down. But luckily, we've seen the price of Ethereum also going up, which has helped out Hive blockchain a lot. Now, Hive will be going public on NASDAQ here soon. So uh, that's pretty exciting stuff. Now, let's take a look over at Argo. Now, Argo, over the last 30 days, uh, they're down at the end of june so hopefully they'll have a better july but argo is down about 25 percent so they didn't really have the greatest month and uh it wasn't really going that well for them uh before all this happened so argo's kind of just been uh just been kind of moving along hopefully we see argo start training back up here soon and uh, things start rebounding for the company but uh, they're just still down quite a bit from where they were a while back ago so hopefully we get some good news out of argo here in the future now when we look at bitcoin over these last couple months and we start looking at its downtrend where we get the resistance is about about under thirty thousand dollars so if bitcoin needs to go to about thirty thousand dollars or less it quickly rebounds and starts going back up and then as as high as bitcoin goes it, it looks like it wants to go no more than forty thousand dollars and if it does then it will start going back down that's been the resistance there over these last six weeks so thirty thousand dollars and forty thousand dollars has been the resistance in the medium of course then will be thirty five thousand dollars which is about where it's at right now that's kind of been the average price that uh, Bitcoin's kind of just been staying at for about six weeks. So what we really need to be seeing is Bitcoin break above $42,000 or so, and then hopefully it can start doing a rally from that point. But everything needs to line up just right. There needs to be the right amount of news. But I mean, there are some good catalysts out there that we could be looking forward to that could start sending a good bull run on Bitcoin. It just has to be waited to be seen. Now with the crackdown there in China, the hash rate of Bitcoin has gone down so it's actually easier to be mining bitcoin so for all these us and canadian companies that were um that we're investing into that are mining bitcoin their hash rate is actually easier so they're able to obtain even more bitcoin and so the price of bitcoin might have gone down the good thing is that if they're mining even more bitcoin and obtaining more bitcoin then when the price does go up that could be a great catalyst for all these blockchain miners now another thing is to be looking forward to as far as catalysts go is the possibilities of a bitcoin etf and that looks like it's starting to look even better and better especially as um, more people within the government are actually being for bitcoin and as far as these uh this bigger money coming in that would be able to be buying up bitcoin seeing more scarcity there with bitcoin would definitely be driving the price up even more now as far as things go with El Salvador, which we know that they're going to be using that as a currency, that that's also something that is a great catalyst for Bitcoin. The more and more we would start seeing that uh, taking an effect there, especially with the fact that El Salvador is mining Bitcoin there at this moment. So we could be seeing some really good things. Now, uh, as far as what's going on with the whole clean energy in the United States, Canada, all these blockchain miners they are using clean energy as a way to be mining bitcoin so that's a great thing to be looking at and if that's one of the problems that a lot of uh a lot of governments have is the majority of all the miners out there are already in that direction of clean energy and a great thing for elon musk too because that's been one of the things that he's he said bad about bitcoin but now when we get rid of those those uh, chinese miners and we look at it like who's left here who's the big dogs that are left now we got these clean energy miners out there. So hopefully we start seeing a good reputation going on with Bitcoin in these months to follow here and to end 2021 on a good note on the second half. So with all of that being said, I just wanted to do a quick update and, and sum up the month of June as far as things have gone with the blockchain stocks as well as the whole cryptocurrency industry as well. So with that being said, I'd like to know what everybody's projections are for July. Are we going to start seeing a good rebound coming with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, etc.? So with that being said, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. New videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video coming very soon.